welcome to Comic-Con. My name is Devin Kogan. I'm a senior writer at Entertainment Weekly, and I am so excited to be here in EW's Comic-Con studio with Colby Smulders to talk a little bit about Secret Invasion. Thank you for having me. How's it go? You literally just got off stage at Hall H. Yes. How was that? It was intense, you know? Uh, it is so exciting to be back in Comic-Con and being in a space um, with so many people who are so passionate, who um, support Marvel so much with their love. And the thing I love about coming to Comic-Con is just the gathering of people um, who are just filled with creativity and imagination and artistry. And uh, yeah, it's just really exciting. And, and also like Marvel's got a lot of great stuff coming. It's true. Like you guys have a lot. A lot. It's a lot. I can't. I. I didn't even know of some of the things that um that Kevin was up there talking about. So it was. It was exciting. That's so exciting. And you know, Secret Invasion is such a fun, interesting mm -hmm. project. And Maria is a character that you've played for such a long time now. Yes. What was it that excited you most about kind of getting to tell this like new chapter in her story? Well, I think it's like um the the world that they're in is very different from the world that we we saw them in at the beginning i mean um the great thing that uh the series uh, gives us the opportunity to do is really dive into the characters more really um explore their relationships with each other and it was just really exciting to shoot these scenes with sam that were like we weren't just talking about like how are we going to get the thing to fix the thing, you know? Um, and we're able to have, to show sort of their relationship that is seen behind the scenes. That makes total sense. And yeah, I mean, Sam Jackson has been such a, a pillar of the Marvel stories for such a long time. Freaking icon. What was it like to, you know, kind of get to tell, like, like you said, he's, he's basically headlining this story. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, it's a dream. Honestly, I, I have I, every, every time I get a call to do one of these, especially with him, I get, I'm just, I'm thrilled. And I think it's really exciting to see this character. I think it will be really exciting for the audience to see this because they're seeing a version of Nick Fury that they haven't seen before. You know, like, what does he do to relax? <laughs> does he ever relax? What are his hobbies? You know, does he have a family? What, what is, like, what is his backstory? And re they really do a deep dive into him and his life in this series. That makes so much sense. And yeah, one of the things um, I know you guys have mentioned is the the tone of the show is so mm -hmm. interesting. It's sort of this spy thriller, mm -hmm. kind of paranoid vibes. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about, you know, kind of bringing that, that tone to life with this series. Well, even though we have, you know, a scroll aliens running around, it is a very grounded on this earth uh, drama. And um, it is really uh, human. Um, again, even though there are aliens in it, but we're dealing with real human issues and uh, all dealing with, with trust. Can I trust you? Are you who you say you are? Um, and uh, do you have my back? You know, and it's it really, um, I think, in our story, because we don't know exactly who everybody is, if they're a scroll or if they're human or if they're good or they're bad, it just, um, it creates a lot of tension it creates a lot of friction among the characters and also just like it's it's a stressful environment and you really have to um, connect with people to try to un like it's like asking you the one question that I think you would know if you were really you and then and then being able to um, yeah to, to trust each other but it's so it is it's very grounded and it's very um, it's just very dark. It's very like it, it, it's it's going to be exciting to see see it all played out. But um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, but that's kind of the the classic spy story. Is it like yeah, it's very spy trust. versus spy. Yeah, exactly. And um, and we shot it in London, and so it has a very historic feel. And uh, yeah, it's 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 going to be good. That's so much fun. And you've got such an incredible cast in I this. I know. Um, you know, Ben Mendelsohn, speaking of scrolls, you've got yes, Ben Mendelsohn, yes. who is an absolute delight. Do you have any weird Ben Mendelsohn stories from set? Because he is so funny and <laughs> he strange. Is, uh, he, is, he is just utter joy. He is just utter joy. And, uh, you know, I don't want to get into any specific set stories. But what he does bring to a set is a boombox of music. And um, he'll just kind of keep a good vibe going. And the speakers, the last set that I saw was a, was um, in the shape of a dog, just a dog speaker coming out. And then he would just, he just blasts music and he just kind of keeps the good times going. 
and he's just uh, he's just so much fun to be on a set with, and also just a incredibly talented actor. But so he's an actor, and he also plays said DJ. Essentially, yeah, yeah. I mean, he also takes requests too, so it's good. He kind of reads the vibe, or he tries something, and it doesn't work out. Or sometimes we all get in and sing, and it's 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 it's, it's a lot of fun. He's he's good times to be around. And yeah, and the rest of the cast is so delightful. You've got all these newcomers like mm-hmm. Olivia Coleman and Amelia Clark. Did you and Sam kind of like welcome them in and be like, you know, let, let us show you the ropes around the, the Marvel family? I do family. not need to show Olivia Coleman or Amelia Clark <laughs> how to do anything. Um, I they're they're so talented, and again, it just goes to show like bringing in these new people into the Marvel world is just making it so much richer and so much better. And um, especially seeing such brilliant, strong female characters come along is very exciting. Absolutely. And so, you know, when the series premieres, what are you most excited to sort of, you know, what about the series most excites you to be able to share with people? I think it's, again, just diving into the backstory of these characters. I was really, um, to, to play these scenes with Sam that are just, you know, more intimate and just more connective and not just like, we got to get a bad guy. It wasn't, the stakes weren't, you know, they're not always that high. We're able to let um, the story breathe a bit and um, showcase those moments between the characters. I imagine as actors, that must be so much fun to play, especially. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every day's different. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not like in front of a screen going, we got to, you know, the, the, the levels of this are uh, nuclear, blah, blah. See, I'm not even good at it, even if I try to improv it. It's terrible. No, that's not I would, I would watch that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope I don't think so. <laughs> for sure. Well, thank you so much for thank joining you. me. And uh, thank you, everyone at home, for watching along. Stay tuned to EW.com for even more Comic-Con and Marvel coverage. Um, and thank you again. Thank you for having me. Of course.